Did you know that nearly 60 women have run for president of the United States? I mean, granted, like, all of them have lost so far, but still. 60? Suffragist and clairvoyant newspaper publisher Victoria Woodhull is often cited as the first American woman to run for president, but that's a bit of embellishment considering how in 1872 the Equal Rights Party merely nominated her to run for president. And in fact, on election day she was in jail, and plus it was before 1920, so she couldn't have even voted for herself. In 1884, Belva Ann Bennett Lockwood became the first woman to actively run for president on, yet again, the Equal Rights Party ticket. And yet again, Belva couldn't even vote for herself. But now we've got to jump way forward to 1964, when Maine Republican Margaret Chase Smith, who was the first woman to serve in both the House and the Senate, became then the first woman to actively seek the nomination for president from a major political party. Four years later, Shirley Mitchell became the first African-American woman to run for president on the Communist Party ticket, which is unfortunate because that meant she didn't have a snowball's chance in hell of succeeding. And then apparently American women were like, let's do this, because in 19 1972, not one, not two, but three women were running for president. You've got Linda Jennis of the Socialist Workers Party, so nothing's gonna happen there. Patsy Mink from Hawaii, who was the first woman of color elected to the House of Representatives, who really didn't make a dent at all. But that year, she did push through Title IX, so thank you, Patsy Mink. Finally, we have the unbought and unbossed. Shirley Chisholm from New York. She was the first African-American woman elected to US Congress and she became the first African-American woman to run for president on a major party ticket. Now, of course, she did not come anywhere close to winning the Democratic nomination, but she was the most successful female candidate in the primaries until someone came along in 2008, you've probably heard of, whose name rhymes with Shrillery Glintlin. Shrillery Glintlin. Oh, and not to mention. So while sure, no woman has won the US presidency yet, but it's not entirely for lack of trying.